Welcome to another lab for lesson 2, module 2 from CompTIA Network Plus and supporting cable and physical installations. So today we're working in 237 lab, connect network devices. So let's go ahead and launch this lab. In this lab, you are a network technician for a small corporate network. The company recently expanded to the second floor of its building. You have already installed a small networking closet on the second floor and you've drawn the necessary cables to the ports on each of the floor's fiber patch. Now you need to connect the two networks using fiber optic cable. So this is the practice we're going to gain on this lab. Be familiar with the optical connectors. In this lab, your task is to connect to the switch in the networking closet on the first floor with the switch in the networking closet on the second floor. And we're going to do that through the fiber patch panel in each networking closet. We're going to use the following information to identify the connections. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the building. And we are working on building. A. I assume. Connect the appropriate fiber cable connector to switches through the fiber patch panels. So we're going to go through the networking closet in the second floor. Let's do first floor first. First floor, hardware. And here is our patch panel. For the first floor, we have a patch panel, and I'm going to zoom in the max I can. So for the patch panel on floor one, port three is transmit, port four is reception. Port three and port four. And we can see that uh, we need to connect a, uh, to the switches through the fiber patch panel. So we're going to get the cables. And we need to connect SC or LC. So we're going to select SC to LC connect, connection. Okay, and we have two cables for this. So in the first floor, we're going to select this one. And we're going to select the port 3 for transmission, which is the white connector. And the other one is the black connector. White, black, three and four. And then we need to connect this to the switch. So we're going to go and take a look at the switch. We need an adapter, maybe, because uh, we need to install an uh, LC, LC, and this is the connection we have on this side, the LC connector.
and we're going to connect this one. It's important that we get familiar with this type of connector. This is an adapter, actually. And we can see that this one receives an uh, optical connection in one end. It has the, the this funny connector on the other end. So we're just going to go and... No, this is the RJ45. This is the one we want to get because this one has the back. It has the two type connectors that we want from the optical cable. And in the front, we have the same connector. So this one LC is the one that gives us the, um, uh, the connector to connect both sides. So we have two of these connectors, so we're going to use one. We're going to put it in here in this port. And then we're going to get uh, the other end of the cable. That is the one we just connected here. We have the LC connector right here. And we're going to bring it to the switch. So we're going to click the and connect it. Bingo. So you see the connection above is just using the other type of cable. Okay, now for the patch panel on floor one, well, that's what we did. For the patch panel on floor two, we need to move to floor two now. We're going to go to the hardware, and we're going to do pretty much the same thing. Let's get a little closer right here and for the panel on floor 2 port 1 is transmitting so we need another cable and we're gonna select one of these cables port 1 is transmitting with the white or two is received with the black. And we need to put an adapter on the switch. And use the color coding on the end of the fiber optic cable to identify which one is transmission. Connector B, black is RX. So yes, that's what we just put in. Plug the switch on floor 2 into a bank 1 critical load outlet. Okay, we need to finish connecting this one. So we need another adapter. And we're going to select the LC adapter. We're going to plug it here in the, the SP2. And we come back with the cable and get that connection up to the switch. Now the next thing is use the color coding to the end of the fiber optic cables to identify which end is TX and then we can connector B black is RX. Plug in the switch on floor 2 into a bank 1 critical load outlet. So we need to go to the back and we need to connect the switch. We need a cable for that switch and this is the cable we're going to use. We need to identify these connectors. One is male, the other one is female. And the switch uses the female part, and we're going to zoom in here. This is the switch, and it's using the female because the switch has a, a male connector already. So we're going to select this, um, this cable, and we're going to get 
they hard to tell from this angle, but uh, let's try this one. Nope, that's gotta be this angle. There you go. So now that is connected to the switch and the other end we need to connect it to the critical uh, load outlets. And the critical load outlet is identified by these uh, gray connectors. So we're going to get it here connected. And there it is. Verify that the connection was made by checking the internet connection on any floor to computer. So we're going to go into the floor and we're just going to go, since we are in the networking closet, we're going to go into a Windows terminal and we're going to do network settings and we are connected um, let's do the traditional app, this is Windows 10 so the steps are a little different, network and internet we create on the Ethernet um, it's connected okay so we can tell right here that uh, we have the connection successful. Also, we can check um, any other computer, let's say manager. And this manager computer is connected as well. So we are good to go. When you connect the fiber optic cables, the transmit port, one device is connected to the receive port on the other device. The fiber cables in this lab have already had their RX and TX connections switched as necessary. You can view the component information in the details window on the specified tab. So I guess we are done with this lab. And then we're going to go ahead and score. And we get a hundred score. Connect the fiber on floor one, and then connect on floor two. And then uh, these are the type of connectors we use. One is for transmission, the other one is for reception. This is one end of the cable, the other end of the cable connects to the adapter that we put into the switch that has these two inputs, the LC connector. This is the SC connector. Okay, so that's all for this lab. Hope you enjoy and we'll see you in the next lab.